are we staring at a big war between the government and the Supreme Court on the appointment of judges? Both sides seem to be hardening their position on the collegium system for appointment of judges for higher judiciary. The Supreme Court again reiterated its position saying till the time the government brings any other law, the collegium system is the law of the land. It cautioned the government not to delay appointments of judges. It has also cautioned against public functionaries speaking out in public against the collegium system. On the other hand, it seems the government too has hardened its position on the collegium system. The law minister has more than once criticized the collegium system in public. He has said that the collegium system limits talent as only those people are being appointed whom the sitting judges know and not others. Then, more recently, Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar has called out the Supreme Court saying that by quashing the National Judicial Appointments Commission Act, it disregarded the mandate of the people. The Vice President first made the remarks on 2nd December while delivering the 8th Dr. L. M. Singhvi Memorial Lecture in presence of CGI Chandrachur and several other senior judges. The VP then reiterated his remarks in the Rajya Sabha on December 7th. Listen in to what the Vice President said in the Rajya Sabha. Rarely in parliamentary democracy, there has been such massive support to a constitutional legislation. This was culmination of a basic, fundamental parliamentary process. This historic parliamentary mandate was undone by the Supreme Court by a majority of four is to one, finding the same as not being in consonance with the judicially evolved doctrine or basic structure of the Constitution. Honorable members, there is no parallel in, to such development in democratic history where a duly legitimized constitutional prescription has been judicially undone. A glaring instance of severe compromise of parliamentary sovereignty and disregard of the mandate of the people of which this House and the Lok Sabha are custodians. Despite the Vice President's strong remarks, the government for now doesn't propose to resurrect the NJAC Act, Law Minister Kiran Rijiju informed the Parliament. Rijiju also rejected the opposition's charge that the government is trying to thwart the independence of the Supreme Court. We are not like Congress party you know, who overturns everything and they try to capture all the institutions. BJP respects all the institutions of the country. So do you think there should Fine. be a discussion on this that the Congress party is asking? I, I can't tell anything about what is to be discussed in the parliament. I am not the authority to speak about the, the subjects to be discussed in the parliament. Another interesting remark about the judiciary came from the highest office of the land, that is the President. Speaking at a Constitution Day function, President Murmu ruled the fact that several poor people continue to languish in jails for petty offences due to high legal cost. Now, unko fundamental rights ke bare mein pata hai, na unko preamble ke bale bare mein pata hai, na fundamental duty ke bare mein pata hai. Thoda bohot kuch kar diya, kisi ko thappal mar diya. Ab jaanti hai wahan ke log thoda khane pinne mein dusra chiz khane pinne mein mahir hote hain, hai na? Thoda bohot kuch. ऐसे कर दिया किसी को थप्पड़ मार दिया क्या क्या दफा लगा दिया जो लगाना नहीं चाहिए लेकिन ओ सो क्योंकि आजकल ऐसे बहुत सारा होता है तो ये सालों साल उनको छुड़ाते नहीं है उसका कारण जो भी बचा कुचा है ना घर पे जमीन जायदाद जो भी अपना यूटेंसिल और खत्म हो जाएगा इसीलिए जाते नहीं छुड़ाते नहीं नाउ मूविंग टू द कलेजियम सिस्टम the Supreme Court is unhappy that the government has not been prompt in clearing names of judges even after they have been reiterated by the Collegium. The court also feels that this delay is discouraging good lawyers from joining the bench and thus the Supreme Court and the High Courts are finding it extremely difficult to find suitable candidates. The government, on the other hand, feels that the delay is not on its part. It says that conducting background checks takes time and sometimes negative factors come in. 
The government says that many times the delay is also due to the High Court Collegium as they have failed to recommend names six months before the post falling vacant. The government says that it has to conduct background checks and this takes time. At present, there are 332 vacancies in the High Courts whereas only 146 recommendations have been made, while there are no proposals for the remaining 56% vacancies. High Courts of Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Meghalaya, Sikkim and Tripura have not recommended names for vacancies existing in the lawyers category for the five years or more.